<laughs> the only thing you buy makes you richer. I may be extremely wealthy with this definition. <laughs> However, there is one additional purchase makes me the wealthiest person in the world. Travel plus races. AKA <laughs> <laughs> destination races. <laughs> destination races sounds so romantic. Doesn't it, Jonas? <laughs> 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 yes, that's the half truth. The other half is what goes into it. Cleaning out this logistics of flight, lodging, training, work life balance, all must come together in order to have successful destination basis. I'm a firm believer, I must do the work in order to experience that glimpse of success and accomplishment. My open, unsecretive a love affair with the destination races have taught me three very, very important life lessons. Honesty, knowledge, ROI, return on investment. Honesty, destination races teach me honesty. If I wanted to call a runner, I must be brutally honest. I cannot be pretend. I'm a faster than my garment was just telling me. I don't judge anyone by age, gender, or religion. I only look up and respect people's race time. <laughs> <laughs> knowledge, knowledge. Best generation races are best teacher, better than classroom or books you read. It teaches you what your body is capable of nutrition, training, rest, sleep, mental aspect of life. Also, destination ways teach you learn their culture, people, language. Destination is the best teacher. Number three, ROI. I know we we'll have several financial experts in the audience. Tom, Tom, Renita, Dan, but hear me out. <laughs> Destination is the best investment. They are inflation proof. You don't have to wait five to seven years to see the return on investment. It's the immediate gratification. <laughs> People you meet, knowledge you gain, memories you keep, they will stay with you for lifetime. Craig, my coach. Coach <laughs> <laughs> first, the husband second. <laughs> we have a running goal. We're planning on running all states in America, either half or full marathon. Those who are challenged mathematically, they have 50 states, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Also, we'll have plan to run six measures. 
Those are Boston, New York, Chicago, Berlin, London, and Tokyo. I already completed five measures. Craig is running Tokyo and London next year. One more goal for running. We're planning on running all continents. Wow. <laughs> Don't you know what you have to the challenge? That's a seven continent. Wow. <laughs> and we already finished five continents. We're already super rich. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. My assistant and coach will share. Uh, if you can hear the screen, here is my love affair of destination races. I did recently, we did. I ran a uh, Berlin on September 25th, and a week later, I ran London and we fly out to Iceland, explore the wow. most beautiful Christian country in the world. My fellow Toastmasters, travel, the only thing you buy makes you richer, Mr. Toastmasters. Yay! Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs>